Bernie Schindler, professional cyclist in paracycling. I've been twice world champion already, silver medalist at the Paralympic Games in London, and I'm ready to go for more at the Games in Rio. I'm below the knee amputated. I have a special cycling leg which adapts to the paddle. Since a year we've been working with Autodesk on the first 3D printed cycling prosthesis. I'm Paul Sohi, I'm a Fusion 360 specialist and product designer for Autodesk. I've been working with Denise Schindler on creating a new prosthetic leg for the Rio Olympics. This is going to be the world's first prosthetic at the Olympics which has been 3D printed. We're at a stage technology-wise to initiate a paradigm shift in this industry. Right now, things still happen by hand, and just by virtue of that manufacturing process, things take a long time. One of the biggest challenges we had was to get all the sensitive skills that an orthopedic technician has into a digital model. Plaster cast molding becomes 3D scanning, socket design becomes digital sculpting, and then carbon fiber molding becomes 3D printing. For this project, Fusion 360 was perfect. It's an all-in-one software package, so it does modeling, animation, simulation. We could very quickly make changes and then see how that was gonna affect things like the stress on the material. One of the big benefits of doing it digitally is that the process is way faster. With the 3D model, we can see the changes much better and react better and faster. With the last version, we have uh, definitely achieved that goal that I can really ride with it. I was even training outside and on the track, so we've been surprised what a big step we have done already. Now we're working on the new version, which is focusing on the aerodynamics. You can see that what we've done is made it way thinner in the connection between socket and cleat to ensure that we can have the most aerodynamic design possible. This very much is the, the future of prosthetics. Because everything is digitally distributable, you can democratize the manufacturing and you can build the prosthetic anywhere in the world. The new technology is great for me to establish a new cycling leg and to be competitive. But my big goal is really to open up the sports world for the average amputated person. It makes a big, big difference if you have been amputated and then you still have the chance to be active, to be self-confident, to enjoy the life and not to give up.